Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Fixin here, back again with another video. Uh, this is um, third time's a charm because I tried twice before. And I have some... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. They're talking. This is that elephant that I uh, neglected to turn over when I pulled it out of Vanessa's bag. Isn't he pretty? And I've had him down here for two days waiting to put him in the video so that I could show you what he actually looks like. <laughs> and this is where I do my photography. And I'm getting ready to do this big old Chico's lot. And that white over there is my, uh, my backdrop. And that's Miss Scarlet. So we'll go over there and talk to her now. Hello, Missy. What's the matter with ya? Why are you screaming? Huh? What you squawking at? She's my squawker. She makes this horrendous noise. You're horrendous. Such a horrendous girl. Let's zoom in just a little. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? You want to come out? You want to come out? Huh? What you peeking? Are you peeking? No, come here. Come here. Come on. There she is. It's a pretty girl. Hi. What are you doing? Say hi. She's a female eclectus. She's from the Solomon Islands. She's um really freaking noisy. She's my loud mouth. Um she's actually my boy's bird. She uh, she loves him. They're buds. You put on weight, Missy, since I held you last. You're getting fat. You're getting fat. What's with the orange on your head? It doesn't look orange in the day in the daylight. It's this phone. That's weird. Her feathers look washed out. Missy, 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 loudmouth. Pretty girl. She was a rescue. Uh, a lady had her, um, and she had gotten her from a family that bought her for their eight-year-old child. And when I first took her to the vet, he told me that her tail had been broken. And he said, generally, when that happens, it's some type of abuse where she might have been on the floor and somebody kicked her out of the way and for the longest time she could not climb at all like like he does he climbs up and down the cage all the time she can do it now um, because my boy worked with her a lot and um, he exercises her and holds her on his hand and he'll like fake like he's gonna throw her up in the air and she'll flap she'll hold on and flap her wings real hard so she, she, he's gotten her rehabilitated as far as that injury goes. And, you know, I just can't even fathom people doing that to their animals. But, you know, first of all, buying it, buying a parrot like that for their eight-year-old. Hello, Max. We call Max Mad Max because, well, he kind of is. He's, uh, he's my lunatic fringe. He's my bird. I've had him since my son was like six years old so let's say uh i've had him for like 27 years so he's about 27 um wow. missy was seven when we got her and i don't know i guess i'd say she's 22 maybe boop, boop. max we doing we doing max maxi doodle what you doing? What you do? What you do? Don't bite me. Don't bite me. No scratchies? No scratchies? No. Don't do that. <laughs> you make kissy noises after you try to bite me. Is that it? You get your tail. You get your tail. He's kind of cage bound. He doesn't like to come out. It takes me about, I don't know, like 20 minutes to get him out of the cage. And he likes to tear his paper up. 
don't you, buddy? So we, you know, tie newspaper in knots and throw it in there for him to chew up. And when he gets really mad, he rings that bell back there. All right, well, that's the max. I'm going to pause and take you over to meet Pooper. Here's the Pooper. Huh? The Pooper has been um, rescued as well. He is a rescue bird. My neighbor, uh, yeah, that's Scarlet, and it's hideous. Um, yeah, she needed to pay her electric bill, and they were having issues with him, and so we went and got him, and he is my hubby's bird. And he's pretty, and he's the one that talks a lot. Hey, you talk a lot, huh? What you doing? Hi! Huh? Huh? Good pooper! Huh? Let me turn this off and see if he can see his blue. Huh? He's got a lot more blue on him than, than you can see with the huh? torch. Hello? Hello? Huh? Good bird! Good pooper! Okay, now, oh, okay, Max is over there doing the sounds now. Ah. What, am I talking to Pooper and not you? Ah. Yeah, so that's that bird. Ah. That bird. I'm going to shut the cage. Are you going to be good? Ah. All right, let's try not to go too fast here. Ah. This is my... Some of my stones are over here. This is my stone table, one of them. And that, that there bottle, that's for uh, bathing the birds with. Huh? And down here we have all of my jewelry making stuff. So I have all these different kinds of stone in there. And that I will get to on the next video. Um, just give me a yell. What, what kind of stone do you want to see? And oh, I'm so sorry. This is why I take my videos into the other room when I do them because just eh. Okay. I need to shut those drawers. Oh yeah, I like bones. Here's my rocks, and now's my here's my bones. Hubby found the uh, the deer skull. This is a fox skull, of course, because I have to have that. And this is a vulture. Um, boy's favorite animal is um, a vulture. Mine is fox, of course. And hubby likes um, hawks, but we can't own any, any hawk things because we're not native. And that is my crystal. Wait, let me turn it off. There's my crystal. Crystal ball. Let me see if I can find the rainbows in it. It's quartz and it weighs about 15, 20 pounds. But, yeah, that's my baby. And then over here we have a big old chunk of amethyst. I like that one too, but but that's, you know, I need to buy some more stones. I haven't bought stones in a while. And here's my mommy when she was 17. And there's my, what I call my pocket mom. Right there. I have some of her ashes in there. And it's sitting on um, a bed of, um, oh, what is that? Um, heather. Because heather in, heather is supposed to bring you closer to your loved ones, your passed on loved ones. Um, what's this? This is called a Shiva lingo. It's meteoric. And, yeah, 
Pooper likes to blah blah when I blah blah. Uh, so that is for. Um, it's from India. Uh, and it's a meteoric rock, and they use these in the temples in India. It's supposed to represent male energy. And that's a big old one. That's a big old one. That's one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. Here's a smaller one over here. Shiva Lingam. And my, I think my, my the boy carries one around in his pocket. In his pocket that's smaller than that even. So, so there's a little bit of knowledge for you. And this bowl was my grandmother's. And it's alabaster with snakes. So I figured that was a cool one to put my rocks in. Um, don't mind the dust. Um, so what else can I show you? We'll show you where the birds were. And then I'll show you the other table that has rocks on it. Be right back. Okay, this is what we call the plant room or the um, bird room usually. Usually I have the birds in here along this this way. Um, but hubby needs to exercise so now we have the, um, the um, Bowflex thingy in here. So I keep my other rocks. Yeah, see, you can tell we had the birds in here. Um, <laughs> my, there's my dryer. This is my little powder room, and here's my other rocks. These aren't real beautiful ones. I keep the real pretty ones out there. What the heck? There we go. There we go. We got some crisp, um, quartz and some ametrine and some amethyst and some some uh, labradorite. This I've showed you before um, when we did the other video, the labradorite video. Boy, that's washed out, isn't it? Whew. There you go. Have to hold it down. Hip -hip. And yeah, don't mind the bad paint on my walls. And the, it, this place was built in um, 1860, so it's seen better days. Oh, you like my selenite? Check him out. I got that at a powwow up in uh, Pennsylvania. Ooh. So we've been. Eh, come on now, don't be, don't be doing that. <laughs> I can't get it. To Ah, well, I'll fix it later, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, we've been collecting stones for quite some time. And when I got to, together with Hubby, we each had a collection, so, uh, yeah. I don't know why that ashtray is still here. Everybody quit smoking. <sighs> that might be my son. I don't know. He just moved in, so I don't know what his habits are just yet. So yeah, um, that's kind of my, my, my thing, my stuff, my beginnings of, I think this one is, this one's glass. See how clear it is? There's no way in heck that's, uh, quartz, because quartz is milky and has all kinds of craziness in it. There you go. This one broke. It was a wand and it broke. Which, you know, when they break, we just leave them because that's how they want to be, pretty much. <laughs> um, well, we're at 14. So, I guess we can go. And hopefully my um, thread up box gets here soon. Um... I'll try to come up with something to do until that happens, so let me know what kind of rocks you want to look at, or if you want to see the rest of the house, such as it is, or, you know, let me know what's up. I am unashamed, and I know that my house is kind of meh and icky and, and old and kind of messed up, 
and I'm not the greatest housekeeper, but I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Um, what you see is what you get, kind of, <laughs> with me. Um, I love you, ladies, and I guess we'll see you later, and catch you next time, and be yourself. You know what's coming, right? Because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.